On September 28, 2018, an earthquake struck near the Indonesian city of Palu. It caused a tsunami that killed more than 2,000 people and destroyed thousands of buildings. It was the deadliest disaster of 2018. What went wrong and how can such a tragedy be prevented? Disasters are not unavoidable acts of nature. They are determined by many factors, including how we live, build and prepare. In the case of Palu, for a number of reasons, the alerts from the tsunami early warning system did not reach the communities in time. First off, the tsunami was exceptionally near. It struck in less than five minutes. Second, there were technology limitations and disruptions to the long chain of the early warning system, both of which are now being addressed by the government. Lastly, there were significant social factors that influenced how people reacted. Some people did not understand how the early warning system worked. In one community, people were waiting for an alert from what they thought was a tsunami siren, only to find out later it was a mobile phone tower. Others didn't think tsunamis were a risk to their community. Many of those who survived were those who acted fast. Once they felt the earth shake, they began running to higher ground. Some of those who self-evacuated benefited from prior knowledge or experience. They knew, for example, that a tsunami can strike even if the sea does not recede. Community education and awareness are critical to bridging the last mile of early warning systems. They ensure that communities know how to receive early warning alerts, know the evacuation routes and shelter locations, and are prepared to run to higher ground. Early planning is especially important if a family member is old or has a disability. Investing in the last mile can make the difference between life and death when disasters like tsunami strike.